everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. I'm here on my YouTube channel and we are sitting in front of another big box here. We're gonna do an unboxing today of the PreSonus Studio Live 32 mixer. Um, this is uh, in the spirit of our whole series this year that we've done in 2022 around DAW controllers, surface controls, plug-in controllers. Now this is a little bit of a different beast and we'll get into that as we unbox this. But um, a lot of you have uh, asked me about the Studio Live 32 and said, how does it work as far as DAW control? How does it work as far as plug-in control and controlling our DAW and is specifically Studio One? So if you've been checking out all the series of videos we've been doing this year, we have done the SoftTube Console One. We even done the PreSonus Fader Port 16. We have done the Icon Con Pro X. We have done the Solid State Logic UC1 plug-in controller as well as the UF8 Fader DAW controller. And now here we are gonna do the Studio Live 32SX. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a whole series of videos coming up on how this controls DAW, your DAW and more. So before we get started, if you like what you see in the video, please consider subscribing and also hit that notification bell. Also, if this is your first time here, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because we're talking about mixing. For the last six months here, we've been talking about mixing and DAW controllers and plug-in controllers. I wanna help you on your mixing journey. I wanna give you a free $100 mixing course right on the homepage. Click on the orange button. You can't miss it. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you something else for free. So, before we unbox this bad boy and take a look and talk a little about what we're gonna be doing in the upcoming videos, I um, want to say thank you so much to our good friends over at Sweetwater, as well as PreSonus. You guys asked me to get one of these mixers to do it. I called up my good friends over at Sweetwater and PreSonus and said, hey, we're doing all these DAW controllers. We're doing surface control. People are asking me about the Studio Live. It's kind of a different animal. And Could you try again? Oh, there we go. And Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Um, and they said, sure, which, what mixer do you want to take a look at? I said, well, you guys have asked me about the 32, so we're going to take a look at the 32. So they were so gracious to send this for me to me so I can do these series of videos for you. As always, they don't get a chance to see the videos. They don't tell me what to say. They just say, Dave, do your thing. And you know, Uncle Dave is going to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you the things I like about the Studio Live as it pertains to DAW control and plug-in control, things I don't like about it, if there are things I don't like about it. Um, and I'm gonna be straight with you. So now you'll be able to know about every DAW controller, almost every DAW controller on the market, which one is for you. A lot of it comes down to personal workflow. So thank you, Sweetwater. Thank you, PreSonus. You guys are wonderful. And again, if you're interested in the Studio Live or any of the other DAW controllers that we uh, took a look at this year, click the link in the description box below. That's my affiliate link out to Sweetwater and you're helping Uncle Dave when you use that link 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. So. Here we are, Studio Live. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy. We got ourselves our unboxing knife. Now, the thing is, oh, let's start unboxing this and then we'll talk about it. I'm gonna take off my watch here before you know who is gonna start chiming in again here. Amazing. Okay, so this is a little bit different of an animal than what we've taken a look at so far this year. So let's, first let me, uh, Go ahead and let's flip this thing over because I think we got to open it from the bottom. Let's see, let's hope the camera stays in focus here. If it doesn't, my apologies. We'll get it back on track in a minute. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so here it is. Big bus, big mixer. So as we said, this is a little bit of a different animal because yes, this does do dog control, right? It does do plug-in control. It is gonna work with Studio One and all the other major DAWs on the market. However, it's way more than just a DAW controller. And this is why it's kind of in the family of stuff that we were gonna be doing. But I, I originally left it out of all the series of videos because I says, you know, from a price perspective, it's so far above and beyond the other products that we looked at. Because it's so much more than just a DAW controller, obviously it's a live mixer. You can record with it, you can do DAW control, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. But you guys asked for it. So let's get this thing, how are we gonna get this thing open? Do I gotta change my blade? There we go. Hold that down and we'll take a look. You'll get a chance to see how they package this thing. This came directly from the Sweetwater warehouse. It wasn't, they don't put it in an outer box. This is the box right here. So as it sits, 
this, as I'm recording this video, if you were to buy this new, this 32SX runs just shy of about four grand, okay? Most of the other controllers that we looked at were all under the $2,000 mark, and some even under the $1,000 mark. But as I said, this is so much more than just a dog controller. So kind of warrants the price. Now I will say that I've used a lot of Studio Live mixers playing out in clubs and stuff with bands over the years. Um, in my mind, for a live mixer, hands down, this is the best one on the, on the planet. I love the Studio Live mixer. I've used many of them. Their little 16 channels all the way up to their 40 some odd channels. They're great, great mixers. Let me show you. How, okay, you could probably see on the camera. Here's how it's boxed. So it looks like it's upside down in a plastic wrap with a bunch of foam. And we have a box here. In this box, we're probably gonna have power supply. We do, so we have, let's see, we have our power cable, uh, our network cable. Oh yeah, good point. And we'll talk about this when we set it up with our in, in a future video with our DAW. In order to do DAW control with the Studio Live, you have to have this plugged into your router, okay? I don't know that it has to be on the internet per se, but it has to be on your home network in order for DAW control to work, which is not a big deal. USB cable, and then all the paperwork to register your product with PreSonus, so on and so forth. Really cool. And so what are we really gonna be doing this year? Well, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a series of videos on DAW control for sure. Oops. Almost knocked over my water there. That's the main thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a bunch of videos on how to set it up, how does it work, just like all the other controllers. But then what we're also gonna be doing uh, in the beginning of 2023 is I'm getting, starting to plan and get prepared to do at Home Recording Made Easy, our uh, Recording Drums Made Easy course. We're gonna record real drums and mixing drums made easy. Now there's a couple of courses already on the website that are about seven years old and it's time to redo those. And so I have a bunch of stuff coming in, a bunch of gear coming in uh, from a bunch of different manufacturers and we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna take what that original acoustic drum course that I did uh, seven years ago and we're gonna make it twice as long, twice as better. You guys are gonna love it. If you're into recording drums, you're really gonna dig that. So we're gonna be doing that in 2023 and the Studio Live, we're gonna use the Studio Live as one part of recording. We're gonna use it as our audio interface because the Studio Live is not just a dog controller, it is also an audio interface with 32 inputs and we're gonna do that. So we're gonna use this for that course and for a bunch of YouTube content on recording drum techniques, different microphones and such. So you're gonna get a chance to see how the Studio Live behaves in a recording environment as well as DAW control. We're gonna do a whole series on that. Part of that course, we're also gonna record our drums through the SSL behind me and we're gonna compare that to the preamps on the Studio Live. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff at the Studio Live this year. Now let me see if I can get this thing out of this box without breaking it and hurting myself. So let me get this out and then we'll get it on the table. Alrighty, not the most glamorous thing, but we're gonna see if we can get this box. Do I just throw it off the table? We'll fix that loud bang in editing. <laughs> hey, this is what happens when you do this all by yourself, guys, and you don't have a room full of assistants. This is just me, I am the assistant, I am the camera guy, so, and the audio guy, so anyhow. Okay, let's get that out of the way. All right, here's our studio live. Let's get it out of the bag here. So as I said, stay tuned in the beginning of 2023, January, February, March probably, you're gonna see a ton of content on the Studio Live for recording, for mixing, and all that stuff. So it's gonna be Studio Live month here at Home Recording Made Easy. Also at, mu also at Mixing Music Analog as well. Banging up my chair against the console here, okay. How gracefully can I do this? What a terrible unboxing video you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I doing here? Oh, is that my watch vibrating? Jeez Louise. It sure is. All right, let me put this in my pocket now. I'll tell you. All right, here we go. All right, back to the video. <laughs> okay, so. Here's our studio live, so let me just pull these down a little bit. So, 
what do we have here? We have, let me turn this around so you can see it better. What a beautiful piece of gear. I'll tell you what, this thing is built like a tank. The one thing about this thing is it's not light. All right, so here we go. So we have, what do we have? 24 faders here? Then we got three, six, nine, 10, 13, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So we have 24 motorized faders, right? Plus a master fader here which is really cool. I guess this is a, called a 32 because it has 32 inputs. So we have 24 motorized faders, but from a dog control perspective, you have banks, right? So you have 24, you can bank over as many banks as you have. There is a little uh, DAW button somewhere on this thing. That's when you switch over to the dog mode right over here. So this is pretty cool. So we got 24 motorized faders plus the master. We have a nice uh, touch screen here, which is really nice. We have the fat channel here, which is really cool. So on the input selected track, I think the way you're gonna control plugins is all the plugin parameters are gonna come up on these little encoders, which will be really nice. We have a full transport section here as well. Uh, we have um, uh, an SD card here where you can record multi-track recording uh, right on an SD card and stick it into your computer. You don't need a laptop. You could do it with a laptop if you want to see Studio One on the screen, but you could do it right with the SD card. And again, we're going to test that out when we do our recording drum stuff. We're going to test that out just to see how that kind of works. Uh, you can also hook this up with a la hook a laptop up to it, have a laptop near our drum kit as well. We'll do all of that. We have a bunch of uh, scribble strips here, little LCDs, which are really nice. A nice little section here for an iPad, a little shelf here. I mean, it's a beautiful mixer. I mean, I, these, you know, what can I say? It thing is great. Um, on the back here, we have, as I said, it's called the 32 because we have 32 preamps, 32 XLRs, which is unbelievable, really. I'll take some uh, close up photos or some B roll after and insert it if you guys can't see it all that clearly. But what we have here is we have 32. 32 XLRs, the first, what is it? The first 16 are mic only, 17 to 32 are combo jacks, mic uh, and or XLR or quarter inch, which is really, really nice. We also have uh, 12 of these uh, things called XLRs called flex mixes. And flex mixes are really cool uh, on the front here where you can have individual mixes. So you can have, let's say from a recording perspective, you had, you had a band situation. Uh, each band member could come out of a flex mix and you can have their own custom headphone mixes in that, which is really cool. Um, you can use this if you're doing things like live streaming, where you can have whatever mix you have going on in your room and then you can send a pair of left, right out one of the flex mi mixes and you can have your live stream with a different mix. Really cool. This is a really great mixer, fully featured. We also have monitors, inputs, we got a, a talk back out. We have a mono out for like a subwoofer or if you wanted the whole mix, a whole mono mix to go out. I mean, a really beautiful mixer. So as I said, this is way above and beyond just a DAW controller. And that's why the price is so, so much more expensive. However, I will say from a footprint perspective, this takes up less room than the Icon QCon Pro X did with the 24 faders we had there. Plus this has a lot more on it. So this is a great uh, unit, much like the Icon in that it could be a, a centerpiece in your studio where you can have this as your main controller and you can do recording on it, you could do mixing on it. It's kind of like the digital version of something like an SSL where the SSL is a fabulous analog 32 channel analog mixer with 32 inputs but you can't do dog control on it, right? You can't do any of that kind of stuff. You really, it's a one trick pony. It's an amazing one trick pony, but from the digital side of things, this thing's fantastic. So it's built like a tank, feels really good. The craftsmanship ship looks fantastic as you would expect from pre -Sonus. They always make good stuff, they don't make junk. So that's what we're gonna do. In the comments below, let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see. Uh, done on the Studio Live 32SX in the upcoming videos, and I'll take all those comments into account and try to build our whole series of videos around it. So like I said, we're gonna do a whole series around DAW control and plug-in control. We're gonna do a whole series around the functionality from working with it as a recording device, as an interface. Um, we also can use the uh, PreSonus iPad app so we can control Studio One and maybe some of the functionality of this with an iPad. I gotta check that out. I know you can do it with Studio One. I'm not sure how much of it you can do with the Studio Live, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure all that out and see. 
um, if you're in the market for not only a DAW controller, but maybe also a, you know, uh, an interface and a, and a set of preamps, 32 of them where you can record anybody in your studio, um, this might be something you may want to take a look at. So that's what we're going to do. So thanks for checking out this unboxing. Stay tuned for the next set of videos and we're as we uh, start off with the whole DAW control and how we hook it up to Studio One. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the Studio Live. If you own a Studio Live, what do you think about it? What do you do with it? Again, let me know if there's any uh, specific videos and things you want me to show you. I want to thank Sweetwater and PreSonus again for sending this to me. Very, very generous of you guys. I really do appreciate it. I, I got to tell you, and I, I've said this before in some of the other videos, and, and it's true. Um, you guys ask me to do a lot of these kinds of videos. The whole dog controller series with all the other products that I mentioned was only because of you, my followers, asking me to do them. And the only way that a lot of that stuff is possible is people like Sweetwater and some of these companies sending me this product so I can do this for you. Because Uncle Dave uh, can't go out and buy every product under the sun uh, to, to do these reviews. So without people like Sweetwater, and in, in this case, PreSonus, I wouldn't be doing this review. <laughs> so, and I wouldn't be showing you whether this is something you want to invest your money in. So again, thank you, Sweetwater. Thank you, PreSonus. You guys are really great. I really do appreciate it. And I'm, I'm really excited and I just love the way the thing looks. I'm really looking forward um, to really putting this thing through its paces and showing you all the different ways you can use this in the upcoming months. So I wanna thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Now, as I said a little earlier, I want you to go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Even if you've been there before, even if you already have the free mixing course, it's on the homepage you can download for free. I am constantly updating and refreshing and rebuilding all the training courses on the website to make sure you get the best learning experience possible. And if you wanna take one of my paid training courses, I wanna give you a 25% discount. If you use the coupon code YouTube25 at checkout, that will take 25% off any training course on my website. So go check out everything at Home Recording Made Easy. And if you are a PreSonus Studio One user, you're really gonna dig the stuff I have going on over there. I have a whole page dedicated just to PreSonus Studio One training, all for the latest version, version six of Studio One. So thank you so much for joining me today. I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.